Hey everybody, today I have a review for you of the Flogo Smart Level 2 EV charger that looks like it might be a solid option. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at everything up close and then test it out with my Kia EV6 and see how it does. Before I get to the review, be sure to hit that like button if you guys like this video and don't forget to subscribe for more content and consider becoming a channel member to get access to additional perks and help support the channel. Now this EV charger from Flogo is a 40 amp plug-in style EV charger, which is the highest amperage that you can do when plugging in as long as you have a 50 amp circuit. And this provides charge rates of around nine and a half kilowatts, which is enough to fully charge most EVs overnight. And it's available with a J1772 connector or Tesla NACS connector and uses the popular NEMA 1450 plug. Taking a look at everything that's included, I do like the style of the charger here. It's got a nice design with a display on the front, and I like that it has an integrated holster as well. It does come with mounting hardware, including the bracket and a template for mounting it on the wall. And looking at the J1772 connector up close, it does seem very well built. The latching mechanism is really strong. It doesn't bend at all. It's actually made out of metal, which I don't typically see, but that's good. and it fits right in the holster. And there we go. Taking a closer look at the cables, the cable to the connector is nice and long at 25 feet, and we have nine gauge wiring rated for 105 degrees Celsius, which is pretty standard. Looking at the cable to the plug, it's three feet long, and this utilizes a little thicker eight gauge wiring and is also rated for 105 degrees Celsius. Measuring their thickness, It's about 21 millimeters thick for the cable that goes to the plug. And the cable to the connector is about 17 millimeters thick. Both are around what I typically see. So overall, the components look pretty solid. It also has an IP65 rating, providing strong protection against rain, snow, and dust. And they provide a three-year warranty, which is better than the typical one-year warranty I see fairly often. And the unit is ETL certified, which is very good to see. That's an important safety certification that you want to see with EV chargers. Now let's go ahead and test it out. All right, it's installed and looking good. Again, I am a fan of the design here with the display on the front. We'll go ahead and plug it into my EV6. And that is a good connection there. Mm -hmm. And it said charging has started and the display shows the voltage and amperage there 38 amps which is around what i'd expect from a 40 amp charger looking in the car here it's at 9.3 kilowatts and going strong and we'll watch the ac inlet temperature which is the charge port temperature to see if that spikes up very high remember the ev6 will throttle charge rates if it gets to around 220 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll go ahead and check the plug and cable temperatures here too. We'll compare how it is now to where it is in about an hour and we'll see how much it warms up. And now we wait. In the meantime, I'll show you guys the app since it is a smart EV charger. You can download it from the App Store or Google Play Store and you set up an account, add your device, connect to your Wi-Fi, and you're good to go. And in the app, you can adjust things like you can enable plug and play, which lets it just charge as soon as you plug it in. You can also set it to where you have to manually enable the charge for security if you would like. You can also adjust the amperage. You can set various alarms. You can monitor the charge information, that sort of thing, and it works pretty well. All right, it's been a little over an hour now. The display shows one hour, six minutes, and still going strong.
Looking inside, we're still at 9.3 kilowatts, and the charge port temperatures are only around 127 degrees, so that's good. Coming around here, we'll go ahead and measure the temperatures using the infrared thermometer. There are definitely increases from where we started, but it's not hot by any means. So overall, I'm happy with it. As for pricing, I'll post links in the description for you guys, but normally it's $500 on Amazon, but right now it's only $400, and there's another $80 coupon available, so it's only $320. And for a solid ETL listed EV charger that works well, has a long cable, smart functionality, and a three-year warranty, that's pretty good. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let me know if you have any questions about this EV charger. And again, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.